This is question number 60 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question goes consider the following circuit considered which one of the following statement is correct. So the given is correct they are asking which of the statement is correct. So this is passive and linear. So we have got two voltage sources so it cannot be passive so option A has got eliminated. Option B says it is active and linear since we have got voltage sources it could be active so let us keep it that way. We have eliminated the possibility of this circuit being passive so I can safely eliminate option C also. Now I have to observe option B and option D. Uh, both of, in both of them anyone could be correct. So in order for us to judge the linearity and non-linearity we have to observe <coughs> the passive element <coughs> sorry so in order to judge the linearity we should look at the passive elements because if you consider the active elements like voltage sources and batteries if they are ideal if we let us say it will be easier to understand <coughs> the current source so in current source and in voltage source also there is no problem we can even consider the voltage source so in voltage sources and current sources we have got the internal resistances right so whenever we have internal resistances this resistances will get added up with the resistance that is there in the circuit so since the resistors under the constant temperature conditions as they are linear and these resistances are getting added to the resistances that are there inside the circuit so the total circuit can be considered as resistive and from superposition theorem and from Thevenin's and Norton's theorem we know if you want to replace this circuit we can short circuit them since they are the voltage sources they can be short circuited since they are ideal so here the total resistance is going to be 1 ohm and we are working with a 1 ohm resistance that is connected across a voltage source right if you plot the if we plot a vi plot it is going to look something like this right so here we will have linear relationship so the given circuit is both active and linear so option b is the right answer for this question so the given circuit or network is active and linear